Hey everyone, I'm John Hoey from StarWarsNewsNet.com and the Resistance Broadcast. Uh, I just wanted to follow in the footsteps of Daisy Ridley and Yona Sotomo and have a bit of a story time today. So Chewie and I are here to read Solo, a Star Wars story, the little golden book version, so the kids version. Because you know why? We need to make Solo 2 happen and we need more recruits. So here we go. I hope everyone's doing well out there. I know it's crazy times. Um, but, uh, thanks for joining me and let's get into Solo, a Star Wars story written by Lawrence Kasdan and John Kasdan and adapted by Barbara Winthrop, illustrated by Pilot Studio. So here we go. Solo, a Star Wars story. You ready, buddy? Okay, here we go. There once was a young man named Han Solo who lived on the planet Corellia. Han worked for a worm-like gangster named Lady Proxima but he longed to escape and fly among the stars. So he stole a speeder and some valuable fuel called coaxium. But he couldn't leave the planet without his best friend, Kira. Han had to rescue Kira from Lady Proxima's dark, watery den. He didn't have a blaster, but he had a plan. And a rock! Smash! Han shattered a window and sunlight streamed into the den, causing the evil Lady Proxima to dive underwater. Han and Kira raced toward the local spaceport, but just when it seemed like they were going to get away, Kira was captured by Lady Proxima's guards. Go! Kira shouted to Han. Run! Han was alone and didn't know what to do, so he joined the Imperial Navy to get off Corellia and become a pilot. But things didn't go as Han planned. He ended up having to fight for the evil empire as a foot soldier. One day, on a muddy battlefield, Han met a disguised smuggler named Beckett. The smuggler and his crew were stealing a big ship called an AT hauler from the empire. Han asked if he could come along, but Beckett didn't think the young man was up to the challenge. Boy, was he wrong. Instead, Beckett told an imperial commander that Han was trying to run away. Feed him to the beast, the commander ordered. Han was thrown into a pit with a giant furry creature. Luckily, the creature wasn't a monster. He was a friendly Wookiee named Chewbacca. (laughs) Han and Chewbacca worked together to escape. Soon they found Beckett and joined the rest of his crew. Val the Smuggler and a four-armed pilot named Rio. Han and Chewbacca's first mission with Beckett's crew was to steal fuel from an Imperial train. But they weren't the only ones trying to rob the Empire's train. The fearsome warrior Enfys Nest and a gang of masked bandits wanted the valuable fuel too. It was time for a fight! Unfortunately, the mission went horribly wrong. Val and Rio didn't make it through, and the train car, holding the fuel, crashed into the side of a mountain. Luckily, Han took control of the AT hauler and flew Chewbacca and Beckett to safety just in time. But Beckett was in trouble. The fuel was for Dryden Voss, the leader of a gang called Crimson Dawn. Now he, Han, and Chewbacca had to tell Voss that they had failed. (sighs) That's scary. On board Dryden's fancy ship, Han asked the crime lord to give them another chance. Voss agreed, under one condition. They take his top officer with them. It was Kira! Together again, Han and Kira came up with a new plan. They would steal the fuel from the mining planet of Kessel. To complete the mission, they need a fast ship. Kira knew the perfect one, the Millennium Falcon. Han tried to win the Falcon from its owner, Lando Calrissian, in a game called Sabacc, but Lando cheated. Kira offered Lando a share in the profits from the stolen fuel. Lando agreed to fly them to Kessel along with his droid co-pilot, L-337. L-3 was the best navigator in the galaxy. She would take the ship safely through a dangerous space storm called the Maelstrom that surrounded Kessel.
Soon the Falcon landed on Kessel. Han snuck deep into the Kessel mine. While Han stole the fuel, Chewbacca and L337 set some captured Wookiees and droids free. Kira, Lando, Beckett, and the Wookiees held off the mine guards as Han and Chewbacca loaded the fuel onto the Falcon. The team blasted off, but an Imperial Star Destroyer blocked their path. Lando and L337 were injured, so Han took to the controls and piloted the Falcon on a different route through the Maelstrom. Little did the crew know that a giant beast lived inside the Maelstrom. Thinking fast, Han launched the Falcon's escape pod to distract the beast. Then he used a burst of the stolen fuel to zoom away. Han piloted a course for the planet of Savarine to deliver the fuel to Dryden. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Enfys Nest's gang was waiting for them. Lando didn't want any more trouble, so he flew away in the Falcon. Han was shocked when Enfys removed her mask, revealing the face of a young woman. Enfys wasn't an enemy. She needed the fuel to fight against Dryden's evil gang and the Empire. Han and Kira wanted to help Enfys, so they tried to trick Dryden. But the crime lord had been warned by Beckett. With no other choice, Kira and Han sprang into action and defeated Dryden. Beckett ran off with all the fuel and took Chewbacca with him. <laughs> Han went after Beckett to save Chewie. He hoped Kira would meet up with him soon. Instead, Kira pledged her loyalty to Crimson Dawn's leader, Darth Maul. Meanwhile, Han found Beckett. They both drew their blasters, but Han was a little quicker. Han gave the fuel to Enfys. To thank him for his help, she gave him one vial of the valuable fuel. With Chewbacca at his side, Han tracked down Lando for another game of Sabacc. I'm feeling pretty lucky tonight, Han said. Lando wouldn't cheat him out of his prize again. Han finally won the Millennium Falcon from Lando. He took his place in the captain's chair with Chewbacca seated beside him. The two friends smiled at the galaxy of possibilities that stretched out before them. The end. But boy, doesn't that leave off more stories to be told in the future? Hashtag make Solo 2 happen. Uh, thank you everyone so much for joining me. This is, again, a little golden book, Solo, a Star Wars story for kids to learn the story of the movie. Uh, it's like five bucks. You can get it online anywhere. Um, so if you want to pick that up first and then join me for the read-along or just wanted to sit down for the read-along that's cool too but um chewie and i thank you for joining us uh you can find me on the resistance broadcast every monday and thursday and writing at starwarsnewsnet.com i hope everyone's doing well out there i know it's crazy uh it's crazy for myself so doing stuff like this even makes me feel a bit better and uh thanks for joining me i hope you're all well and uh take care may the force be with you